polar pattern, would that be north or south? We often see videos where people are showing us microphones and what they sound like and they do very much what I'm doing now and speak in close proximity to the microphone and um, very often in less than ideal situations like this one. I'm sitting in an armchair which is great. Behind me is a hard reflective wall and uh, there's not much on my walls here. There are carpets here, there is a window over there and this isn't ideal. So how does the polar pattern change the sound of your microphone in real life situations. This is probably a typical kind of front room where we've got a large window which could reflect a lot of sound. In front of the large window there I've got a large screen TV again could reflect sound and behind that is the bare wall and also where I was sitting just now um, there is a bare wall directly behind me to reflect sound into the microphone. In here I've had to use lights because basically it's a really dull day as you can see through the window. So what kind of microphone would suit this situation and how would it sound in other situations? And this is something that very often people don't take into consideration when they're testing microphones, especially things like polar patterns and how that affects the sound. The microphone I'm currently using is an omnidirectional microphone, which you'd think isn't really the best thing to use in a bare walled room, but actually this one works quite well because the thing about the omnidirectional microphone when it's close up is it doesn't have any proximity effect. So the bass frequencies in my voice aren't amplified and you'd think also because it's omnidirectional it would be picking up the sound of the room much more. But what actually is happening is I've turned the volume down basically very much so on my camera so that it's not really picking up too many reflections and so you're left with a natural sounding voice, hopefully, um, that hasn't got the bass boost because it's so close to my mouth and there aren't too many reflections. Unfortunately, we can't always make videos by holding a microphone though, can we? Just as a comparison, what I've done is I've changed the capsule on top of my microphone and I'm now using a cardioid pattern. You'll find probably on listening, especially with a headphone, that the bass level has now risen and the sound is clear but bassy. So your perceptions of this microphone might be it's a bit too bassy to be of any use to anyone. Depends on the situation though. As I've demonstrated, just changing the capsule head can change the amount of bass that you hear from a microphone. So that's one thing to take into consideration is how close are you gonna actually have the microphone. Now what I've done this time is a typical video situation in a front room where I've placed the microphone on the table over here on a stand. So it's about four feet away from me. And um, now I'm using the Omni uh, head, the, the Omni uh, uh, head, not the cardioid. And you're picking up an awful lot of room sound probably. It sounds quite boomy. And yet, when it was close up, that boominess wasn't there. It was quite clear. So sometimes a, an Omni can be quite useful for speech close up. Now if I change this to a cardioid, you'll hear a difference. Now the microphone I'm using now is a cardioid microphone. I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed the input settings. I haven't changed the gain settings. It's in the same position, about four or five feet, five feet away from me. It's in the room, perhaps now not picking up so many resonances within the room, so perhaps the speech is a little bit clearer now, and yet earlier, when I was speaking into the cardioid microphone, it was probably a bit more bassy sounding than the Omni. So for longer distance work, it looks like the cardioid may sound slightly better. Very often in domestic situations, there's a lot of noise going on in the house. And uh, I've now put the Omni back on and I've placed it here quite close to me. And I've got the TV on just here as well. So you probably find that the TV sound is interfering with my sound. And the, the overall mix is possibly not very good. It's not very balanced. But uh, because the microphone is quite close to me, Hopefully, you're not picking up too much of the room sound, but you might well be picking up this TV if you use an Omni capsule. 
It's the perfect place to do some This time I've changed the capsule to a cardioid pattern. The TV is on at the same volume, the microphone is the same distance from me. You might have found maybe that the sound is now lower from the TV in comparison to my voice. So in this situation, the cardioid might be a better choice. The point of my review is to show you that sometimes when we're looking at microphones, we need to look much more closely at how the microphone is being used. Some microphones work much better close. Other microphones might work slightly better than others when they're further away. As video people, we need to work that out according to the situation, what the reflections are like, what the surrounding noise is like. At the moment, I'm using an omnidirectional capsule. The reason I'm using that is there's no proximity effect. It might, um, it might be picking up some reflections from the room, but because it's so close to me, they're not going to be too loud. So we need to tailor our needs and look at the microphone and what it offers us as video people, depending on the situation that we're going to find ourselves in, rather than just rely on someone sitting in a room speaking at close proximity to a microphone to demonstrate its sound. Because as you can see, the pattern, the polar pattern, and the distance from the speaker can have a heck of a difference on what you hear on video.